Hi everybody, welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. Today I am going to talk to you about my hearing test. To put it into context, um, for several years now, three at least, probably no, just more than that, David and Brandon, that's my husband and my son, have been telling me that I'm deaf. Now every time they sort of come in, they mumble something behind me and I go, sorry, what? And they go, oh, I've got to repeat again. You're so deaf. Get your ears checked and <laughs> just generally keep telling me that I need a hearing aid. So finally, after a lot of cajoling, I booked a hearing test and I went to have it today. Um, the day start, it started quite badly because I got into a taxi and the taxi driver couldn't find the large health centre even with his sat-nav. <laughs> Good old NHS sent me off to some place that isn't even in my town. When I was in the taxi I realised I'd forgotten my phone which freaks me out because I don't do anything without my phone. I even take it and put it in a basket in the bathroom while I'm having a bath. <laughs> And uh, then, yeah, when I got there, I had quite a long wait because I always aim to get to these things early. And I thought, I'll just go through my handbag and because I couldn't, I had no phone to mess around on. So I thought, I'll go through my handbag and tidy it up and just going to sort of arrange it. And I got to the side pocket and I unzipped it and <laughs> the lid had come off of a very bright pink supermarket lipstick. <laughs> And everything in the side pocket was covered in lipstick. So I was like, oh no. So I thought, okay, well that's three things that have gone wrong. So that bodes well for the hearing test, right? Anyway, eventually I went in for the hearing test and the girl was really lovely. She was quite young and we had a, a really, you know, a bit of a laugh talking about my condition and why I thought I needed a hearing test. And then she said, okay, I'm going to put these headphones on you and I want you to look at the far wall and you've got like a little button I want you to press it whenever you hear a noise and it's going to be a series of little beeps and boops and things so I said okay and got ready to do it and I'm sitting staring at the wall and I was waiting and waiting I couldn't hear anything and it must have been about five minutes I was really <laughs> panicking and thought I can't hear anything I must be so much more deaf than I thought and um, because I've been being told like on an almost daily basis for three years that I'm deaf by my loved ones. So I was just like, oh, no, this is so bad. And then I heard a booping noise and it was this. Boo, 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 boo. I, ah, yes, click. And she tapped my arm, the girl, and she said, I'm so sorry, but you responded to that, didn't you? And I said, yeah, it's the first boops I've heard. And she said, that was my computer restarting. <laughs> I haven't started the hearing test yet. That was Windows. <laughs> and I said, I was sat and sitting here for five minutes thinking I was deaf. And she said, yeah, I realise that now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, so she decided she couldn't get her computer to um, run the programme properly. It was crashing. So she <laughs> was all pulled a sheet <laughs> or some sort of cover off of this machine and it had like dials it had the old dials things that do that um and it looked like um one of the, you know like when they do those sci-fi films in the 50s it looked like the kind of control panel of a spaceship in a 50s sci-fi film and she said well this works it works perfectly well it's the old faithful but it does the job so i'm really sorry i'm going to put you on to this now and measure your hearing so <laughs> she put me on that and um, I was clicking the button whenever I heard a beep or a boop. And I said to her, like, I'm a bit worried that I'm imagining them. She said, no, you're uh, surprisingly accurate. You're, you're making my job very easy. So I was like, OK, great. And um, I went all the way through the hearing test. And it came to the end. And she said, OK, well, I'll, I'll show you your results now. And uh, there was a sort of a graph like this. And she said, here's normal hearing, what we would consider normal here. Her mind was like that. And she said, just at one end, you just dip below normal hearing in a couple of places, just slightly. That's the only thing wrong with your hearing. So, yes, don't delay, because I put this off for about 
three or five or so years having hearing tests because they're oh I've already got glasses I don't want a hearing aid you know don't delay don't put it off if people are telling you you're deaf because either you want to get that sorted out so that you can hear or you want to prove like I did that everyone around you is gaslighting you or <laughs> just mumbling or being ignorant but you you can you know you're not deaf so either way whether you are or you're not you need to know and I am not deaf and when David gets home and when Brandon comes around to see us I'm going to explain that fact to both of them using just one finger of one hand <laughs> so yeah so that's my news it's kind of weird because you probably didn't think I was deaf anyway but I'm not deaf go me and always get things checked out rather than worry about them. I love you all.